Gentlemen, we are here to do homage to one who has filled the bottle of achievement. One who rose to the top, uh, just like our cream. This man has faithfully delivered our products, achieving the record for which we may all be justly proud. The unbelievable record of 428 points. Mr. Edelson, I congratulate you. Now, fellas, I'll... Uh, Mr. Edelson thanks you, I'm sure. And there are others among you who are deserving of honorable mention. You, Mr. Ackerman, for your splendid record of 397 points. But there is another man who has been with us for a short time, but in that short time has achieved a wonderful record. I congratulate you, Mr. Snodgrass. <laughs> and you, Mr. Scott, are deserving of honorable mention. And you, and you, and you. Uh... I'll see you later. Now, uh, just a moment's chat about the pulse of our public. Now, in this area here, we find... In this area here, we find that our sales are... Fo I say, in this area, our sales are falling far below what they should. There is no reason... We find in this area here that our business is falling off, while that of our competitors seems to be on the increase. As I was saying, that in this area we find that... In this area, I'm telling you that we find our sales are falling below what they should. We are losing on our customers. Now, something is wrong. Now, the question is, what is wrong? Why is it? I ask you. There's the reason. I can see it now. That's what's wrong. Burley, what's the matter with you? I just drank some ink. You know how that is. No, I don't. I never drink ink. Some of the boys been playing tricks on you. Who gave you that? Oh, no one gave it to me, sir. Well, probably that clown has been doing the hiccoughing in there. Huh? Oh, no, sir. How do you know? <laughs> Get in there. Check room. Hello, sis. Y'all ready to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm leaving right away. All right, I'll be waiting out in front. I think it's terrible little girl waiting out in front. <laughs> Me too. Yes, Burley. Uh huh. Well, I'll be there any time you say. So will I. <laughs> Me too. Don't worry, I'll be there. I think the guy ought to stay home. <laughs> Me too. Goodbye. You know, I'm glad you took us. I was getting a little tired. <laughs> yes, I know. You too. <laughs> Pardon me. You gave us the wrong hats. Oh, that's very funny. If you tell me where the act's playing, I'll try and miss it. <laughs> yeah. We like you. We don't. Listen, what happened? Did you lose your address book? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, ma'am. Hmm, that's what I thought. Good night. Where are you going? You give me my hat. <laughs> give me my hat. Listen, I got a great idea. Let's all go over to your house. Did it ever occur to you that I might be somebody's sister? Hello, sis. Listen, I'm warning you. My brother's a very tough man. She's got a brother. She's got a brother. She's got a brother. Oh, for the down. What's the matter? Say, you 
fellas can't do this. Who are you? Well, I'm her brother. How do we know? Yeah, yeah. Can you identify yourself? Huh? A serious thing posing as somebody's brother. What's your name? Put it in tame. Ask me again, I'll tell you the same. Well, yeah, all right, wait, wait, let's wait, wait, get wait, out of here. Wait, 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 he said? Right, hold, hold. He started, he put it on himself. Come on, Burley, you're outnumbered. No, they're probably gangsters. Should be arrested. I've got to do my duty as an American citizen. Oh. Give me that again. What's your name? Joe Monroe. Ask me again, you still won't know. No. He said it again. He repeated it. He repeated it. I'll give him the last chance to make a dying statement. This is silly, Burley, and dangerous. It's all right, sis. I know a million of them. Yeah, once he can't get away with that. This is it. What's your name? poop poop a -doo. That's who I am. And who are you? That is it. Fight! 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 Now, any of you mugs know these mugs? I don't know this guy, but this guy is the middleweight champion of the world. Holy smoke! Hey, I'd like to shake the hand of the man that knocked out the middleweight champion. So would I. Extra, extra, read all about it. Middleweight champion knocked out by truck driver. Read all about it, extra. Well, I kind of got you in a spot, ain't there, Gabby? Yeah, every time I leave town, something happens. That is news. As a rule, something happens, and then you leave town. Oh, I see why, guy. I thought you were paid for a report. I'll take it Christ. Listen, I don't want to hear any more. Oh, inside, you guys make inside, me sick. you'll lose it. <laughs> Great guy. Come on, let's get out of here. Speed. Oh, speed. Spider, spider. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's me, spider. How'd I get this mouse? Ooh, I don't know. I wasn't with you. Oh. Yes, you were. Was I? Of course you. Weren't you? What? What? You shouldn't come in here when Gabby's out of town. He might think it wasn't on the level. <laughs> he wouldn't understand anything that was. Good morning, Plato. Plato what? Let's keep it simple. How did you get that? Oh, uh, this? Oh, well, you see, uh, uh, I was shadow boxing. And the and, shadow and... one? No, no. You see, it was like this. Uh, uh, Spider came in, and we started to spar, and, 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 and I ran into one. Where were you when I called last night? Uh, in the shower. Tub. More accidents happen in bathrooms. Look. That's the story of the lion and the mouse. It's a lie. And sue the paper. What's it say? Truck driver knocks out champion. Oh, it must be some other mug. Yeah, some other middleweight champion. There ain't no other middleweight champ. Not officially. Listen, Ann, be a pal. You're not going to say anything to Gabby about this, are you? He reads just as easy. Oh, but he's in Philadelphia. I hear they got a paper there now. <laughs> Gabby, you're his manager, aren't you? I'm telling you, I'll give you a statement in 10 minutes. Well, it better be 10 minutes or we'll write one of our own. Yeah, but you don't know what it means to lose your reputation, walk down the street and have the whole town talking about you. No? <laughs> well, 12 years ago in my hometown, I went on a hayride. What's that got to do with it? Nothing. <laughs> Except they're still talking about it. Let me see that. Oh, that'll be all right in a few days. Oh, hello, Daddy. Remind me to ask you later what you were doing in here with him. I wish you cared. Well.
You dumb cluck, you thick skull gorilla. What do you think I'm feeding you for? Why don't you watch him? Well, what are you going to say for yourself? I got a headache. Shut up. And you, you, the middleweight champion of the world. <laughs> Yesterday, you had a title worth a million dollars. Today, it isn't worth a nickel. I'm in Philly, signing up to beat Kid Miller for 20 Gs. I got the pen in my hand, all ready to sign what happens. Yeah, that's what I want to know. What happened? He wants to know what happened. <laughs> they want to know what happened. Sure they want to know. The lobby's calling the reporters, and I got to give them a statement. Yeah, but Gabby, you... You better get a story ready. We're going to need it. Hello. Now, listen, Willard. I said I'd give you a statement in 10 minutes. Well, I always keep my word. Uh -oh. I said 10 minutes, didn't I? Rats are coming up in five. Well, come on, let's have it. Come on, come on. Listen, Gabby, it was like this. Spider and I were uh, walking down the street and, and, and up comes a guy. What a guy. Right. Gabby, he was the biggest guy I ever saw. Bigger? Boss, he, he was bigger than Canary. Yeah, yeah, with, with hands as big as watermelons. How did he wind his watch? Speed looked like this alongside him. I had to jump up in the air to hit him. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is serious. A big guy, huh? Yeah. yeah. Middleweight knocked out by heavyweight. That's an angle. Grab it, Spider. Why, you outweighs speed 50 pounds. Got a good right hand. What'll I say? Say hello. They'll take it up from there. Hello. Huh? He is. The truck driver, Burley Sullivan, is on his way up. Let's all hide under the bed. Now, be calm, everybody. Be calm. Now, the big stiff's on his way up. The reporters are downstairs. Great. We'll get a picture of the two of you. You know what like you do? Big guy? Little guy? Say, the public gets one look at you alongside of that big bruiser. Why, you'll even get sympathy. You know what we can do, don't you? Why, say, we can take that man, Martin, and... Well, what do you want? I I'm Burley Sullivan. It's a lie. Hands as big as watermelons, huh? Come in, Sullivan. Hello there. No, you don't. Now I got him. Now I got him. Go on, get the press. Get the press. I'll lay him out as flat as a piece of linoleum. Hit him over here in the sunlight where the boys can photograph the body. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute before you make any more mistakes. Wait a minute. Are you sure that you're the man that knocked out our Mr. McFarlane? Uh, yes, ma'am. Why, you dirty little worm, you never saw me. We've got to find out what we've got to say before those wolves get up here. Now, start talking. In the first place, you've got to cut out all this rough stuff. All right, cut it out. That's better. All right, get started. Well, you've all read the papers? We glanced through them. Rubbing it in, huh? There he goes again. Now, shut up. All right, come on. Now, I don't know how you folks feel about all this, but it's got me worried. You're looking well. Oh, thank you. This thing was partly my fault. All right if I sit down? Yeah. Now, I'll tell you just how it started. You see, I've never had my name in the papers. But when I saw a chance to get in the headlines, whoo, you don't know what that did to me. See, I lead a very simple life. I'll bet you do. Hmm. At the dairy, I'm only a 120-pointer. It's bad, huh? Oh, it's awful. And then, out of a clear sky, this thing happened last night. You know? And as all those reporters came running up to me, I said, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, and... <laughs> well, I guess I was carried away. Well, now we're getting somewhere. There's the telephone. Yeah. Huh? Coming upstairs. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Come on, let him alone, let him alone. Tell the boy I'll give him five bucks to stall the elevator. Now, come on. Let's get out of cases. How did the chad get knocked out? Oh, uh, when I was a little boy. Now, listen, you have to go back now, that now, far. Please don't stop me. He's nervous, isn't he? What do you suggest? Well, warm milk's very good. No, he's tried that. Now, listen, come on. Let's get going. Uh, well, when I was a little boy. Now, listen, I'll... can't you start when you're a little older? Oh, no. I, I got to start where I'm a little boy. We got no time to wait for you to grow up. Oh, now I'm all rattled. Oh. Now you've got him all rattled. Now, oh, come now. on. Come oh, on and tell Ann right. all about it. Just one. Well, when I was a little boy, I was sort of puny. Hey, uh, you can get in on this. All right, thanks. The big boys used to pick on me. They threw things at me. Bricks and tomatoes. You know, like kids do. 
So I learned to duck. To what? To duck. Hmm. See what I mean? Oh, I had to. I finally got so good at it that I could put my hands in my pockets and... Uh, bet the kids pennies they couldn't knock my hat off. They couldn't either. You know, once I made enough to take my mother and my sister made to the picture show. Say, you met her last night. Look here. I'm trying to find out how the chap got knocked out and you keep talking about milk and puny babies and movies. Now, this isn't going to get you anywhere. How'd you like to have me do that to you? Yeah, that's right. All right, go ahead. Now, I don't know where I was. Now, listen, Sully. You were a puny little boy and you took your mother and sister to a picture show. Now, do you remember? Oh, yes. I even remember the picture. You remember the one where the man locked a girl in his cabin and he chased her round and round? So that one, yes. You do? Yes. How did it end? My mother took me home. Take the witness. Now look here. Now pay attention to me. Now listen, don't let your mind wander. Keep it in a straight line. Come up the stairs. You hear what he said? They're coming up the stairs. Listen, you gotta think. You gotta think. You gotta concentrate. Listen, you got us all nuts around here. The first thing you know, you've been telling me that you didn't knock him out. I didn't. That's what I said. What's that you said? I said I didn't knock him out. Everybody hear that? Did you all hear that? He didn't knock him out. Hang! That's our angle. That's our out. Hang! Open the door and let the press in. He didn't knock him out. No. You don't deny it. No. What are you going to tell the press? He knocked him out. It's a lie. So you yes, hung it on me. You weren't yes, with me last night. Yes. No. Really? Oh, cross my heart, he did. He can't get away with that. Let him cut it out now. Run the Muslim. No. Hey, cut it out. What are you trying to do? Now, settle down, will you? Yes, if you'll settle down, I'll explain exactly what happened. All right, go ahead. Give us the lowdown. Well, in the first place, he swung at me and missed. I then, never miss. Yes, you missed me. Then you Hey, missed. I can't hit you, huh? No. You see what I mean? There. You see, Mr. Sloan? That's point number one. He swung at me and missed, see? But I never miss. Hey. Oh, no. That's not the way to do it. Look, this is the way to do it, see? Like that. Cut this nonsense. Will you kindly tell me how I got knocked? Mr. Sloan, that's exactly what happened. Boy, what a story. Twice in one day. He gave me another demonstration. Now, wait a minute. I can explain everything. He can explain better. Yeah, but, but, but I didn't do it. It was an accident. Uh, what an accident. He's right. I did it. How much did Gabby give you to say that? Not well, I didn't give me that. Oh, please don't publish these photographs. Boy, you ruin everybody. Where is Where's that? Give me that, you bastard! Give me that! Get out of here, you buzzards! Give me that! Get out of here, you buzzards! Get out of here! Say something. Hmm. Okay. He'll be all right, Doc. It's the shock, that's all. What he really needs is sleep. This will fix him up. I'll give him a spoonful of that and a glass of water. Someone should... Oh, uh... I'll watch him, Doctor. You remember I looked after him the time he got his face caught in the cash register. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, good night, Doctor. Good night. Good, good night. night. Good night, gentlemen. Good, good night. night. Come on, Doc, get going, will you? Get going. Hey, good night. Good night. <laughs> good night. I got it. I got it. What did the doctor say no, no. it was? Get Sullivan, come on. Get Sullivan. I got it. I tell you, I got it. It's an angle, and what an angle. Come on. Get Sullivan. Bring him up here. Bring him up here. Don't argue. Bring him right up here. That does it. That rip. Oh, dear.
here. Okay. What's your sugar? Huh? Do you? Well, hmm. How do I know you love me? Hmm? How do I know you love me? You, well, yeah. Now, wait a minute. Wait, now, wait, now, wait, now, wait, now. Show me you love me. That's it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got some more. Well, I got some more. Look. All right, guess which? Hey, you. The boss wants to see you. You're coming with me. No, sir, I got work to do. Come on. Anyway, I'm not going up there again. Anyway. What's that? Once bitten, twice shy. Huh? Give me that once again. I don't chew my cabbage twice. So you're starting that again, huh? Hey. Two against one, huh? I'll show you. Listen, you. Look at here. I'm delivering grade A milk for better babies. You, you. Gabby won't take no for an answer. You better cut it out now. You. You can get in trouble for this, you know. <whistles> Ow! Wait out of you, you're coming with me. Look out, I got a gun. A gat, huh? Come on, come on. He's a he's a dangerous character, officer. He's a menace to humanity. Wait a minute, officer. This this is a sense to explain. Yeah, I know. I'm a witness. Come on. Hey, come wait a on, minute. I can get out of this. Say please. Say please. That guy can fight a lick, but pack the garden, or maybe the polo ground. Or a telephone booth. How about a swig of the sleeping medicine? He's a natural. We build him a rep, and then he'll be the biggest drawing cards in steps. First, he's got to knock out a few setups. Starting with you? I, you got the idea. He knocks over six setups, and then he meets you on the polo ground. And we have a new champion. A spider in the lobby. We're all in glory. Hello, spider. You got him in the lobby? Well, ring her. What? What? He's in jail. Oh, my. It's all my fault for trusting a lug like that. I should have had more sense. I should have sent somebody with brains. Yeah. 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 You. Yeah. Now, why don't you go? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But where'll I find him? You stop the first nook wagon you come to, and if you're still on your feet, you say to yourself, that's not him. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. <sighs> this program is coming to use with the courtesy of the amalgamated gas. Will you stop ringing my doorbell? Did somebody tell you it was Halloween? I tell you, I gotta see your brother. And I told you, my brother isn't here. And I don't believe you. Will you believe me when I tell you I'm going to get some sleep? No. What's your idea? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was your bell. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, a big fella like you going around ringing people's doorbells. I said I was sorry. What more can I say? That's not the idea. It's the principle of the thing. My wife's been talking for two hours. She finally went to sleep. You come along and wake her up. Well, what am I supposed to do about that? You're supposed to beat it before I get sore. Oh, getting tough, huh? Just as tough as you are. Now, wait a minute, buddy. My business is knocking out people. Is that so? Yeah, and for two cents, I'll let you have one right out hey, of... Hey, I'm in business myself. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Hello, Spain. You got him in the lobby? Where are you? Oh, what have I done to deserve this? Every time I pick up this phone, I get bad news. Well, I'll put a stop to that. That's two of them, 
in jail. Or maybe three. That's bad. That's no good, you know. That's a misdemeanor. Cops are coming up. What's my angle? What's my art? Why did you tell him when you were a little boy you were kind of puny? That ought to do it. Yeah. May I use your telephone? Yes, I need a doctor. Are you hurt? No, 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 I'm all right, thank you. Hello? Look, hello? Hello? Oh, hello? Yes, look, uh, hello? Uh, uh, just, just, just one moment, just one moment. Uh, will you hold the phone? I'm talking to someone. Yes, here's what I want. I need a... Bothering me this just time a moment, I... please. I'm, I'm talking over here. Can... Yes, what I'm trying to explain. Tell me what uh, no, I'm talking to the other fellow on the other side. Uh, hello? Well, don't... Uh, hello? Here's what... Hello? Hello! 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 Hello up there! Hey, cut that noise out there. Hey, come on. Hello! I've got to have a telephone. 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 I've got to Come in. The phone's over there. Thank you. This is sure nice of you. That's all right. Hello, hello. Is this Kenny? This is Burley. Something's happened to Agnes. Yeah, she's lying in the gutter. Uh, well, she won't get up. Yeah, her tongue's hanging out a foot. Thirsty? Oh, she couldn't be. She's had plenty to drink. What she's got's a bellyache. Yeah, you better get her an ambulance. Uh, this is 56 in Lotus Apartments. Uh, yes. Well, you'd better bring the lady up here until... Oh, but she's not a lady. I didn't think she was. Hmm. But if she's sick, it doesn't make a difference. What kind of woman she oh, is. Oh, but Agnes, she's just an old horse. Oh, I thought... Well, thank you very much. Oh. Thanks a lot. Uh, goodbye. No, no, the other door over there. Oh, yeah, thank you. Sunflower Dairy? Maybe you can help me out. One of your men left his cap in my apartment. Oh, about three o'clock this morning. <laughs> no, I don't know his name. Well, he was about five feet ten, has dark hair and glasses, and, uh, and a very pleasant smile. Yes. Well, if you know who it is, would you ask him to stop by the Acme Barbershop? Thank you, Thank you. Hello. Hello. I was just talking about you. <laughs> yeah, I know. How was Agnes? Oh. She's not very good. I was up with her all night. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I took her to a good doctor, though. Uh, no powder. Well, I hope she'll be all right. Do you? Uh-huh. All through. Hmm? Oh, uh, uh, give me another shave. Another shave? Uh, yeah. Cut it 
out now! Stop it! Help! Oh! Oh! You give me back my pants! Give me my pants! Pardon me. Oh, don't mind me. I used to work with the four flying Fagans. Turn around. Well, there's one thing in his favor. He's got a front and a back. What do you think? You could wrap him in a horse blanket until the bell rings. Say, what is this? Got to take some of that off. Mm. You can't do that, no. I know about law and... Soft as a bag of dead mice. It's no soap, Gabby. That string bean couldn't lick Zazu Pitts. No, He's got to work. He's got to fight somebody in 30 days. It's our only out. What well, do you mean? Why, no, I, I can't, can't find the guy. I can't find somebody in 30 days. That doesn't make any sense. He's got to fight somebody. Hey, he's only girls. Might I say something? Quiet, boys. He wants to say something. I'm sorry, but I just don't want to fight. <laughs> Listen, Bertie. I'm your friend. I'm honest Gabby Sloan. I'm trying to do your favor. You're not either. Oh, wait a minute. You haven't heard me yet. Get a picture of this. You're up to here in Doe. You got a string of big cars from here to Boyle's Half Acre. The dames are doing nip-ups over here in the street. The crowds are pointing at you. They're yelling, there he goes! Who? You. Why? Because you're the big shot. You're fighting for the title. It's the polo grounds. 80,000 people are going batty. There goes the bell. I'll answer. Well, there goes the gong. You run him like a tiger. He leads. The tiger ducks. That's you. You're the tiger. He leads again. The tiger ducks again. No, no. No what? That's nothing like it. Here, I'll show you. You got to get that knee at you. See? Now, here. R relax. You're a bundle of nerves. Mm. Come on. Give in here. Give. That's better. That's it. Don't you want to learn how to duck? We're back in the polo grounds. The tiger leads a left, a right, a left. 90,000 people are turned up 80, to see. 80,000. Right. 80,000. That's one for you. 80,000 people are turned up to see. And not quite 80,000. What do you mean by not quite 80,000? Because I won't be there. Two up for him and game. Talk isn't going to do this monkey any good, but I'll show you what will. Now I got you. Now I got you. Try this one on your piano. Why, you big hoodlum. You big Swiss bell ringer. I don't like dames that hit gentlemen. Another ducker. Burley, what are they doing to you? They're trying to make a fighter out of me. We wasn't doing nothing. You get out of here. All of you get out of here. Come Brooklyn on. Hospitality. Yeah. You're a bunch of hoodlums. Who's a hoodlum? He's the worst. I ain't no hoodlum. Get out of here. The little lady's right. My apologies and my regrets, Miss Sullivan. Uh, uh, uh. Bertie. Yes? Just one thing before I go. If you think of me at all, Bertie, try to remember me as... as honest Gabby Sloan. All right. Who came to lay a future in your lap. A future that you'd be proud of, that your lovely sister would be proud of. And that that, that dear, sweet-faced, kindly old lady would be proud of. Hmm? You know, Bertie, I sometimes wonder if we're half the men our mothers hoped we'd be. Mm. I'll bet your mother's this sweet little woman. Yeah. She's been having a little trouble with her kidneys lately. Hasn't she, sis? You know, Bertie, that's uncanny. If I didn't know, I'd swear that that was my mother. Maybe it is your mother. It was here when we moved in. Maybe that's your father. He was here, too. <whistles> Pardon me, that's my horse. How about a glass of warm milk? Hello. But she was sick, Mr. Kinney. I had to take her to the hospital. Yes, I know those things cost money. Oh, Bertie, did I hear you say you needed cash? Hello. What? Oh, you couldn't sell her hide. No, Mr. Kinney, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your business. Well, I didn't tell her what you care. But, but you can't do that to Agnes. What? All right, fire me then. Hello. But she's worth more than that to me alive. Huh? No, I never had that much money in my whole life. Have I, sis? No. But I'll get it. Hang up on the rat. Oh, don't listen to him, Bertie. You'll get the money. Uh, you, you. How? By signing a contract with me that will get Hold you a wire. fortune. But a fortune for a few moments pleasant employment in a cool, airy arena. I'll do it. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, where's Spider? At the ring. Oh. Hmm. My, you look lovely this morning. And vice versa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh, Tiger! We always 
always use the bridge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. You perspire easy, don't you? No, I, I Never to... mind that. Where'd you get those? The elastic broke. Never me. mind that, too. Let's get going. It's your first fight. The bell rings. You come out fighting. You mix it up in the middle of the ring. He throws a right, you duck. He throws a left, you duck. Suddenly, the crowd goes nuts. There's a guy down. Not you. He's down, and he's out. Eight, nine, ten, and you're the winner. Don't you think that we ought to practice losing? Don't worry, you win. Give me that. How's that? Fine. I keep it on. You know, I know two fellows once they got in the same spot. Six months later, they got the gloves away from them. They're all right now. Have I got to go on with this? You can't quit. Think of your career. You know, it's the monotony of the thing that's getting me down. All right, let's see. Where were we? Oh, yeah. You're the win. Oh, no. You win. And to look good, you give him the old business. You give him that, you give him this, and to top it, you give him this. See? Now we'll start from the beginning. The bell rings on the other fella. Put him up. Ain't you ever fought? Huh? -uh. All right. Now, make a face. Nah, no. Make a face to scare him. Like yours? I never scare nobody. Scare me. Oh, put him up. All right, I'm the other fella. You come in swinging. One, two, boom. One, two, boom. Start swinging. Oh, no, I might hurt you. I'll take a chance. I'm very game. All right. Two, boom. One, two, boom. One, two, boom. What's holding you up? No, no, get tough. Give it all you got. Oh, uh, no. Come on, start swinging. All right. Now what? That's all, I quit. Oh, Tiger? Yeah. Or are you too busy? Huh? No, no, no. Do you know how to dance? Dance? Yes, at the Sunflower, you know, we used yeah, to I'm dance. Yeah, I'm convinced. Uh, now, how do you hold the girl? Like that. Now, close your fist. Now, dance. Without music? <clears throat> Tra la la la. Now, wait a minute. Now, listen. Tra la la la. Boom, boom. Tra la la la. Boom, boom. Tra la la la, boom boom. Tra la 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 la, boom boom boom. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. This is what I tell him, dear Joe. He'll be in Detroit on the ninth. Don't worry about the weight. He'll make it with a quarter milk in each hand. It's all set, Speed. Chicago on the fourth, Detroit on the ninth. Why can't I just punch him in the nose in public and get it over with? The way you talk, Speed, is the difference between a smart guy and a grape nut. Uh-oh. Look what's coming to our house. Yes, and coming to make trouble. Now, get a hold of them, stop them, and keep them away from that waltzing mouse. Now, listen, Speed. That sister's plenty tough. Make a play for her, and if she falls for you, she'll be a cinch to handle. Turn on that 160 pounds of personality. 
And if you want to put her in a good humor, tell her I broke my leg and you had to shoot me. Hey! Where do you think you're going? There's Polly and me. So what? Dames and fighters don't mix. That's what he found out. Oh, but... Come on, keep calm. But I want to say hello keep to cool. them. Keep cool. Take him over and give him a shower. While you're there, take one yourself. Hey, I... What can you lose? Look. Oh, don't worry, Polly. I'll do the talking. I'll tell that Gabby Sloan that... Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> that means we're welcome. Miss Pringle, Mr. McFarland. How do you do? How do you do? I want to talk to Mr. Sloan. And you most certainly would if he was here, but uh, he's in town. Tooth. Hmm. Out for her. Good. Maybe I can talk to you. Now, that's a pleasure. If you'll excuse us. Oh, I'll be around. Give me back those pants! I'll fix you! Hey, come back with that towel! Give it! I ain't through with you! Don't get the wrong impression of the fight game just because a few fighters walk on their heels. The wise ones don't. Look at me. I am. Why are you so interested in Burley? Well, first place, because he's... he's your brother. That doesn't even make sense. What I wouldn't give for a place like this, with a cow and a few chickens. And you. Honey, if this thing works out, and it can't miss, I'll get you a place like this and a million chickens. You know, I've heard all that before. When I first met you, I had two of everything. Now I've got one of nothing. WXJK. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tannenbaum Hour. I just can't imagine you're being a fighter. Oh, well, it's just a means to an end. I had to have some money quickly, and well, as soon as Agnes is better, I'm going back to the dairy business. You think a whole lot of Agnes, don't you? Mm-hmm. Look. That came right off her tail. I made it myself. You did? Mm -hmm. It's my good luck charm. Well, you weren't very lucky when you lost your job, were you? No, but I was lucky when I met you. <laughs> you know, you're I an think you're awfully, awfully nice, nice person. person. Hogan's terrible. Yeah. Mr. Hogan's doing everything you taught me. Okay, kid, you're next. Now? Yep, right now. What's the matter, Bernie? I don't know. I, I, I think I got a chill. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, there's your trouble right here. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Feel better now. He's not much to look at, folks, but if you don't think he packs a wallet, ask our erstwhile champion, Speed McFarlane. He's fighting a good man, Tornado Todd. And here's Todd now. Imagine having to lose to this guy. Don't seem right. 
Mr. Sloan. Yeah. Do you think I've had enough boxing lessons? Listen, Bernie, you got nothing to worry about. With everything we taught you and that good luck horsehead chun you got, it's a cinch. Hmm? What's the matter with you now? A charm. Ladies and gentlemen! Yeah! In this corner we have Tornado Todd! a couple of Filipinos. I'll have them back in 10 minutes. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, the circumstance over which the milkman has no control. Am I supposed to ask what you're looking for? I'm looking for a horse's tail. Oh, Mike looking for Ike, huh? Yeah, and I gotta find it. He must have left it around here somewhere. Where's the Wonder Boy? He's in his dressing room. Spider's sitting on him. Oh, here it is. Oh, what was that? Tiger old duck, pursued by the headless horseman. You, Judas? He sent me for a bag of peanuts, and when I come back, what do you think? You forgot the peanuts. No, he was gone. Hey, Bertie. Look, here's your good luck charm. Come on out. Uh-uh. Oh, look, just what we're looking for, the horse's tail. Come on, let's hurry. You know, Mr. Sloan, as I was running across 42nd Street... You try to make a left-hand turn? You can't. Anyway, as I was running, I got to thinking. Got to wondering if you couldn't put this fight off till tomorrow night. Maybe I'd feel more like it then. Some of the boys might not be able to get out again tomorrow night. I'll get him, boss. I see a quitter. Oh, no, I'm not quitting. Oh, gee, that's swelling. Come on, let's go. I'm just not starting. I see. Want to double cross a guy that never did a dirty trick in his life. You know, I... I don't deserve this, Spider. Tiger. Uh, tiger, excuse me. You've done something to me. Right here. Let me bust the door, Eve. If you do, I'll go down the fire escape. Come on, or you're gonna fight it, aren't you? Uh-uh. Well, if it's no go, there's no hard feelings. To show you the kind of a guy I am, I'm going over and call the whole thing off. Oh, thanks. Goodbye, buddy. And don't forget, folks, this fight program comes to you from the courtesy of Wine Bomb's Wonder Wafers. Those delicious chocolate coated. Groceries. Oh, it's you. Yes, sir. Now we're going to celebrate. Your brother knocked out the tornado in the first round. <laughs> but it isn't over. You said it. What isn't over? The fight. What do you mean? Well, it hasn't started. Well, it's supposed to be over. There's the tiger. There he's coming down the aisle now. A tremendous ovation, folks. And no wonder. This is the lad who knocked the middleweight champ off the front page of every newspaper. They were going to introduce Mr. McFarlane tonight, folks. Why aren't you Mr. there? Oh, I'd, I'd much rather be here with you. To put it mildly, maybe the thought of meeting Mr. Sullivan again made him a little bashful. The dope. There they go, folks. The tornado comes out of the wild bull. He swings, the tiger ducks. He swings again, the tiger ducks. The Tiger Ducks again! Folks, what a... Sullivan sends in a jab to the face. He sends in another. Tornado's down, folks. He's down. Five. He's winning. Seven. Oh, Burley. Nine. Why didn't he get up? Because of that good right hand, that's why. You want to. Uh, don't I have to fight anymore? Uh, it's all over. All over. Maybe I can get the fighting milkman to say a few words. And here he is now. Tell him about it, Bernie. Hello, folks. You know, I'm just as surprised as you are, because I could swear that I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> what a wit. What a clown. What a fighter. This is Honest Gabby Stoney's manager talking, folks. 
And I want to say right here and now that of all the boys I've ever handled, I've never had a boy that had the zip, the snap, and the up and atom that Tiger Sullivan got. <laughs> and with it all, what color? Oh! <laughs> He's got the crowd hysterical. For years and years, we look for a fighter with a... Sloan. Mr. Sloan. Uh, what, what, what is it? Mr. Sloan, what is color? What's what? Color. Uh, that stuff you was talking about on the radio that I got. Well, that's what gets a guy's name in the newspapers. Hmm. Uh, like what, for instance? Like what, what? I mean, like who, for instance? That's what makes a man stand out from the crowd, makes him talked about. Yeah. Dizzy Dean's got it, Bobby Jones has got it, Amelia Earhart's got it. And Mae West? She's got it in a big way. Yeah. Suppose that I had what all four of them's got. I'd pack them in, huh? I hope to tell you. That's what I thought. One, two, boom. 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 Spider. Come on now, boys. He won't hurt you. He's gentle as a kitten. There's the bell. Some of the local newspapers think this fight will go ten rounds. Others think about eight. Your announcer thinks. Your announcer knows. It's over. It's Sullivan. Sullivan in the first. <laughs> Boys, I've got the biggest idea I've ever thought of in my life. Tonight, I'm leaving for Chicago. Tomorrow, I'll buy the fighting milkman's contract. Now, what do you think of that as an advertising argument? For sunflower milk, eh? Swear! <laughs>
me? <laughs> you should be. Then read me about us in the papers? Yeah. So what happened to the milkman? Color, honey, that's what's done is color. One night on the train, I got to thinking. I got an idea that the milkman needed color. That's what you've been reading about. He fell for it in a big way, and so did the public. Then out of a clear sky, along comes a guy. This guy? Yes, Mr. Austin, 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 Miss Wesley. He bought the milkman's contract for me for $50,000. Oh, I'm delighted. Sunflower dairies themselves. <laughs> I'll see you at my house tonight. I've invited some friends. You see, I thought we'd make the signing of the articles a big no. thing, eh? <laughs> Hello, sis. Oh, bless your heart. How are you? Hello, Burley. Oh, you're looking fine. Folks, this is my little sister. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Steve. How about a picture, you two? Sure, you betcha. Get ready, will you, boys? That's fine. Uh, anything for you. Here's what I had in mind. The paper wanted a full page, you see, mm -hmm. with you and the champ standing yeah. together. But I said uh, to them, it might be better if the two of you were standing... Yes, sir. The idea is to get a picture of you with the champ lying down. Oh. <laughs> Come on, make it snappy, make it snappy. This is all you're going to get. <laughs> Oh, you shouldn't. Now, wait a minute, fellas. Wait a minute. Oh, you can't do this to me. Oh, be angry. Now, <laughs> I know 50,000 will buy a lot of chickens. Chickens, honey, it'll buy ostriches. You haven't heard anything yet. You're right. I'm still trying to find out where the money is. All right, here it comes. Mr. Sunflower Dairies insisted that I bet the 50,000 back on the champ, and I had to take it. You mean that if Speed loses, we have nothing? Yeah. But how can he lose? I don't know. But it'll be in the papers. Sorry, folks. Okay. Sorry. Burley, uh -huh. I can't wait to tell you. It's awfully important. Uh -huh. You see, Speed and I are going to see... Oh, there's Polly! Polly! Uh, pardon me, sis. Pardon me. Polly! You know what? We'll get married anyway. Polly! Polly! Hello! Have I got a lot to tell you. I have a lot to tell you, too, Burley. Say, Burley, how about a picture of you and the love interest? Sure. All right, fine. Come on, boys. Get your cameras all set now. Get over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on now. <laughs> Might as well, they all do it. I'll do it, too. <laughs> come on, Burley, we've got to get to the Paramount Theater. Oh, yeah, come on. Come on. What are you thinking of me now? I think you sold the wrong fighter. Oh, you don't get me. Listen, you're talking to a guy that kidded an out and out dub into thinking he was a great fighter. Now, all Speed has got to do is to give him one good punch and we collect a cool fortune. Minus a few dollars for the Tiger's hospital bills. We ought to pay that. What do you think? I think you talk too much. Listen, honey, I can explain everything. Oh, wait a minute, honey. You great big phony baloney. You don't get All it. All this time, you'll be making a play for me so I wouldn't stand in the way of your foul plot to murder my brother. You don't understand. Oh, I don't, honey. No, you don't. My public won't want to see me anymore. I don't either. It's my only out. Oh, I get it. Darling, I love you, said he, breaking her brother's jaw. Oh, wait a minute, honey. I promise I won't hit him any harder than this. What was that? That's my brother. Come on, let's get out of here. Don't look back. Good evening, my dear. Oh, I beg your pardon, Mrs. Lemoyne. Uh, this is a pleasure, Mrs. Lemoyne. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Austin. Hi. How do you do? I'd like to have you meet some of my friends. Certainly. The party of the first part, in this instance, agrees with the party of the second part. You wouldn't give the dame a nickel. I said the party of the first part agrees with the party of the second part. Well? 
Will you go away? I'm trying to get you some ice cream. Tutti frutti? In witness whereof, the parties here to have hereunto affixed their hands and seals in triplicate. Now all we need is the signature. How about a statement to the press, Mrs. Lemine? Oh, well, yeah, give them a load of it from your angle. The Milk Fund, as you all know, is an idea of my own, designed purely as a means of raising funds for charity. Of course, I know nothing about fisticuffs, but the cause is a worthy one. Makes me very happy when I think of the thousands of tiny tots who will receive abundant nourishment from this, um, oh, what shall I say? The sunflower dairy. Yes. To my dear friend, Mr. Austin, and to you, Mr. Sloan, my sincerest gratitude. That ought to kill him. Hello there. Come on, Speed. We're waiting for you. We have that contract. That's it. Now, you sign on the bottom line. The top line's for Bernie. And you better make it uh, Elwood McFarland instead of... <laughs> oh, yeah. You know that Elwood always bothers him a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fighting, Gabby. Yes, quiet, everybody. Quiet, 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 quiet now. Well, what is your... Let's take it easy. No. Everybody speak at once. Yeah. You know my blood pressure. A cheap joke like that, and I'm liable to fall right on my face. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. You sign that contract. I'm not going to fight my brother-in-law. Your brother... -in there goes my pump. There goes my chicken coop. Can he do that? <sighs> contracts in the library. Oh, fine. Come on, Pollock. Hey, you go ahead, Burley. I'll join you later. Okay. Gentlemen, the contract. Well, uh, what seems to be the trouble? There's the contract. It's called. Yeah, but I don't... Why don't you tell him he wants to know? It still goes. I'm not going to fight my brother-in-law. He's not your brother-in-law yet. Say, that's an angle. Why don't you wait a couple of months, huh? We can't wait. I mean, we don't want to. Don't be a piece of putty. Take my word for it. A couple of months is nothing. Yeah, we waited 15 years and look at us. Well, we're not waiting, and I'm not fighting. Oh, thanks, Speed. You've taken a great load off my mind. I'll bet I did. You sure did. It had me worried. For nights, I wasn't sleeping. I tried warm milk and everything. Internally? And I... Of course. Why? Never mind. Go on. Well, anyway, night after night, I kept dreaming the same dream. There was you and Sis and your three beautiful kids. What? Uh, incidentally, you love them. Uh, especially Junior. He looks just like you. Oh, cut it out, will you? Well, anyway, there they were on the front porch. And as I came through the gate, they all started to scream, Mama, Mama, there comes Uncle Burley, the man that knocked out Papa. Yeah. So that's it. Your attitude regarding babies simply fascinates me. I'm Mrs. Lemoyne. Uh, I'm delighted. You know, you're a most remarkable fellow. You know, you're not so bad yourself. <laughs> Well, much as I should like to sponsor the Milk Fund affair, mm. I find myself deeply affected by what you've been saying. Really? Mm. Won't you tell me something about yourself? Well, when I was a little boy, I was kind of puny. Our children will not cry when they see Uncle Burley. No? No. Elwood, you signed that contract. Gee, honey, you mean it. Gabby, the contracts, the contracts. I got a million of them. Will it? Get some of them. That's a smart move, miss. You know, I finally got so good at it that I could put my hands in my pockets and, uh, Bet the kids pennies, they couldn't knock my hat off. And they couldn't either. <laughs> what was that you just did? That's the old box shift. That's what you've been reading about in the papers. Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like it. No? You've got to give it that knee action. You're pretty good. <laughs> you're fine. Oh, you're a darling. Uh, now I'll show you how I use it in the ring. Yes. All right, you swing at me. You mean actually hit you? Go ahead, I won't be there. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, no, not like that. Look, you must let it go. Mm. Clear through. That's the stuff. Follow right through. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, All right. Be now, afraid of now watch. All right. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Oh, you know, really, that's fascinating. No, you're, you're too stiff. Mm. Yes, I know I am. Yeah, you must relax. Uh-huh. Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, more freedom. That's it. Oh, yes. And uh, loosen up here. That's oh. Don't forget the only action. No, no, oh. I remember. Now, now, you, you, you do it to me. You mean it? Uh huh? 
All right. <laughs> Remember what I taught you? Uh -huh. If you forget, it's bad. Uh -huh. Very good. <laughs> you do it some more. All right. <laughs> Hello, Polly. Why, uh, how do you do? How do you do? Mm. We'll uh, take this matter up later, Mr. Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> they want you in there. The fight's on again. Speed says he wants to go through with it. What? Okay. Tell him the tiger will be there in two minutes. But this is just like committing suicide. Well, you're right, tiger. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Burley, I don't even know you. You don't know me? Oh, no. Polly, you're being facetious, aren't you? I was never more serious in my life. The boy I knew went away and never came back. Yes, he did. I'm the same fellow. I can prove it. I'll show you my driver's license. No, you don't understand, Burley. I met a boy once that, well, to say the least, I liked him very much. Oh. No. No, that was the old Burley, the nice fellow, the one who was kind of horses, the humanitarian. But the one who came back, came back with the smell of blood still fresh in his nostrils. Burley, you're nothing but a killer. You should be hanging on the wall with the rest of the killers. Killer? Me a killer? Yes, you are. You're a Dr. Jekyll and a Mr. Hyde. That's what you are. A dual personality. And the good side of your nature is being destroyed by the bad that's in you. Oh, that's bad. You should see yourself as I see you. Well, when you got off that train, I was never so amazed in my life. Yeah. You were a totally different character. Mm -hmm. And that character is going on and on, breaking people, tearing them apart just to satisfy your lust. That's you, Burley. Can't you just see yourself? Uh-huh. That's you, the tiger, the killer. And I don't want any part of a killer. I'm through. Oh, Polly. Please. I can't fight. Who told you? Never mind, I'm convinced. Did you ever hear of Jekyll and Hyde? No. Well, they're like, uh... Amos and Andy? No. A Might and Marge? No. I'm a dual personality. No fooling. Mm. Hey, Gabby! Gabby! Listen, get out of here, you tramp! I'm a tramp with news. Listen, I'm trying to put over a big deal, and this guy's trying to tell me that the a tiger, tiger ain't fighting. fighting. What? A couple of guys got to him. What guys? A couple of mugs named Jackal and Hyde. They got talking to him, and he ain't fighting. I don't understand it. I tell you, I can't understand it. There's a curse on the fighter and me run something. But I'll lick it in spite of my blood pressure. Hiya, boy. Well, I just got the news. So you're not fighting, huh? No. Mr. Sloan, I'm in an awful fix. Oh, you are, huh? Let's get it in there. You see, I'm two different people. Why don't you sign for both of them? Oh, you can't do that. Sit down. Mr. Sloan, this is a very serious matter. You see, I have a good side and a bad side. A humanitarian and a killer. And the good must kill the bad. I've got to destroy the tiger in me. I have to. Who gave you that line of... Who told you that? Polly. 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 Oh, yes, Polly. Smart girl, Polly. Yes. And she's right. There is a killer in you. But you, you're all confused. It's the killer in you that's talking. Why, you're baffled, balled up, and bewildered. I am? Well, I'll say you are. Now, listen. If you do fight, thousands of babies get milk, don't they? Yes. But the killer in you, the bad side, wants to deprive these tiny, toddling tots of their one chance to enjoy life, limb, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, imagine I'm your father. 
Why? I don't know. You got me there. I want to help you kill the tiger in you. Now concentrate. Concentrate as you've never concentrated before. Think of a baby. Mm -hmm. Have you got it? Yes. Now think of a bottle of milk. Uh huh. Have you got it? No, the baby's got it. Did you want me to have it? Take away the bottle of milk. But you just gave it to the baby. Uh, uh... Would it be asking too much to ask you to take the bottle of milk? No. Now what have you got left? I've got a baby. And he's crying. No, he's laughing. Throw in a thousand babies. Uh huh. Now they're all crying. Hope oh, that one. Throw out that one. Now they're all crying, aren't they? Mm hmm. What are they crying for? I don't know. They're crying for milk. Why can't they have it? Because the killer says no. The killer doesn't want them to have milk. The killer likes to see babies starve. But the good you, the humanitarian you, he loves babies. He wants babies to have milk. Now you're not going to let that tiger lick you, are you? Uh uh. Because you're fighting for a cause. And what a cause! You're the baby's champion. They're all cheering for you. Three hundred, three twenty-five, three seventy-five, four hundred. What a lot of money! <laughs> half of those little kitties and half of us kitties. Yeah. Can't you see it all now, honey? A million chickens. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Burley. Burley, any here? No, not yet. What? Oh well. Oh well, all right. He says he's been delayed, but he'll make every effort to get here though tonight. Should we stop selling tickets, boss? No, open up those windows. I'll take them to stop selling tickets. You know, Doc, little Agnes could look just like her mama. That's all wrong with her, Doc. She was hungry. Yeah. I think she's had about enough, though. Better put her away. All right. Just a moment. There you are. All right, girl. In you go. Oh, I better go. There's a lot of people waiting for me. No, you can't go. You want uh, to go with you? Yeah, I know, but you have to stay with your mom. You stay right there. Yeah, I got to go over and win the championship of the world. I'll be back uh, about an hour, huh? No, Agnes, you can't go. Now, you stay there with Mama. You say, oh, bless you, honey. I'll be seeing you. Goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Agnes. No, stay there now. Goodbye. Oh, hello. I thought you were at the fight. Oh, I'm all mixed up. The man that I love is going to fight my brother, whom I love, and, and now, now at the last minute, I've got cold feet. Well, why did you let it go this far, then? Oh, it's a long story. It's a long story. All about a champion being in disgrace and a, and a brother needing a punch in the nose, and, and you've got to stop it. Oh, I wouldn't worry me. Burley says feet would be all right an hour after the fight. Oh, he did, did he? <laughs> let me tell you something. An hour after the fight, they'll probably find Burley's head in the 21st row singing, I Ain't Got No Body. Oh, is that so? What about all those men he knocked out? Oh, Polly, Gabby paid him to lay down. Why, Burley couldn't lick anybody. And tonight after the fight... Say, listen, have you ever seen a fighter after he's been very badly beaten? No. No, I didn't think so. Well, they go around and they talk like this. They don't know what time it is. Oh, this is terrible. Why didn't you tell me all this before? Well, I promised Speed I wouldn't interfere. Like a dope. This really does complicate things. Why? You're taking care of all Speed's money, aren't you? Yes, it's in my bank. Why? Well, your account is Burley's, too, and Burley drew it all out. He did what? Yes, he wanted to surprise you. He took all Speed's money and bet it on himself to win. Well, wait a minute. Give it to me again. He took all Never Speed's... Never mind. I heard you. Come on. Hey, driver, see if you can beat that signal. I'll make every effort. Sorry, I couldn't make it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, darling! Well, come here, baby. Well, baby, what are you doing here? Well, goodness sake, man. You shouldn't have come over here. Hey! Hey! Taxi! Hold me right up there. I got it. Hey, I'm 
not thief. What's that? I said I'm not thief. Yeah, so am I. Look, we ought to get together sometime for a quiet little chat. What for? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Just my luck. Send me wind up over in the first round. Listen to him. The crowd's yelling for the main event. No fooling. Everything's wrong. Yeah, these scales are wrong, too. Yeah, we gotta do something. We're gonna stall for time. What's our angle? What's our route? I can get in the ring and take a few bows. Why? I got it. I got it. We throw in Mrs. Mrs. Hoot Nanny. Meaning me? Come on. <laughs> we'll give him a load of that stuff up those tiny toddling tots. That ought to empty the place. Thief, but he's goofy. Yeah. you can get. Yeah. Uh-huh. We'll get out here. We? Yeah. There's enough for both of us. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's the girl. That's the girl. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. It is my privilege to introduce to you that well-known philanthropist, Mrs. E. Winthrop Lemoyne. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your support in my efforts to supply milk for those tiny, toddling tots. He's here. That's it, boy. Boy, yes, boy. Hello, Speed. Look, here's little Agnes. Well, where did you get that? Oh, I just brought her along for luck. <laughs> well, you'll need it. Oh, look out, Agnes. You're heavy. What hit me? He's here, he's here, the tiger's here. Yeah, he's been here too. What's the matter, what happened? He hit him in the face with his horse. Oh, this is brutal. I shot that guy last night, but it was only a dream. Get the automatic spirits of ammonia, send my bag over there. Huh? Some ammonia, some ammonia. Some ammonia, some ammonia. Come on, step some out of it, please. Some ammonia, it's ammonia. It's ammonia, it's ammonia. In some ammonia, in some ammonia. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. Give him a swig of that. Are you on for action? Where's the apple? Oh, man. I don't like that stuff. Come on, it'll straighten you out. I missed it myself. Forget this. We gotta make it look good. If you win with one punch, they'll know it's a fake. There's a lot of wise guys around here who'll be throwing pop bottles at us. I've been your manager for a long time. You've paid me a lot of dough. If you've ever listened to me, listen to me now. You've got to make this guy look good for three rounds. What's the matter with you? Nothing. What's the matter with you?
boys know the rules of the boxing game. Now, I said, both you boys know the rules of the boxing Dawson, game. Dawson, I might just as well be broke as the way I am now. I'll bet you my ear to the first against yours. Hey, go ahead. Well, whatever you say goes, Mrs. Sloan. <laughs> Here, take another shot of this. Polly! Polly! Me! Burley, don't go in there. You can't fight. I, I can't what? They framed you. Speed is going to knock you out. You never could fight, Burley. Oh, yes, I can. Come on, Tiger, snap in. Burley! Suppose she's right. Suppose I can't fight. Don't take a name's word for nothing. They never start to think like we open them out. Just walk right out there and give them that one, two. She's right. She's right. Hey, look. Here's your good luck charm. Just hang on to this and you can't lose. Yeah, yeah. What did I tell you to do? Play around. <laughs> how strong I was. Give out of here. Leave me alone. Come on. Burley, before all the press, I'm going to make you an offer. If you resign from the ring, the undefeated champion of the world, I'll make you my partner in the dairy business. Oh, that's wonderful, Mr. Austin. Uh, uh, Wilbur, <laughs> say, boy, you make me mighty happy tonight. You know, everybody should be happy tonight. Uh -huh. Now, Speed here, he's all right. And then there's sis, she... What about Gabby? Oh, yeah, what about Gabby? We gotta do something. Say, couldn't you make him your general manager? Uh, he could give the boys up and at him. Well, anything uh, you say goes, partner. But well, what about Speed here? You oh, say... Speed, he's fine. He, he's a wealthy man. You see, I bet all his money on me. Uh, they gave me three to one the darn fools. <laughs> <laughs> 